You have to split risk into two. One is what I think of as actuarial risk, which you just call the operational risk. We sort of can predict like, oh, here's the universe of what might or might not happen. But at the end of the day, there's no real human actors that are creating the risk. Then you have the risk that really involves humans that's sort of descriptive, it's qualitative. And the best example I can give for you is uh, hostage insurance. You may remember, I don't know if you remember this, but a while, long time ago, it started to be like executives, the you know, American executives in Mexico, like a handful of them were getting abducted, held hostage for ransom. An entire business arose in people taking hostages for the ransoms that the insurance was going to pay because you were relying on this actuarial data, except the moment humans got involved, they said, oh, I know how to exploit a system. Like, so when you think about, you know, how do human adversaries work, they're very non-predictable. And that's the, the change is that humans respond to incentives, whereas random chance doesn't.